back. We're now at the booth, as you can see. I'm here with BJ. He's going to go over G-Sync and 4K on a 4K screen with us. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, thanks. We have here are uh, two 4K monitors. Uh, the one on the right is powered by G-Sync, and the one on the left is uh, a normal monitor. And what I want to show you is the incredibly smooth, tear-free, low-lag, visual quality of G-Sync. What we'll do is we'll start over here with the normal monitor. We have a demo program that helps us uh, illustrate what we're talking about. Keep an eye on this little frame rate counter here. It tells us how many frames per second are coming out of the GPU. Right now I've set it to 60, and VSync is on. And you see the pendulum swinging back and forth. It's pretty smooth. The trouble is that games don't output at a constant 60 frames per second. They output at a bit very variable rates. So let's just take a look at what happens at 50. Watch this now. Ready? Go. What do you see? You notice anything? A little bit of stutter. There's a stutter. Right? That's at 50 frames per second. So we can go down to 40. It gets a little worse. And then finally, I'm going to set it to randomly go between 40 and 60 frames per second, which is uh, what a game would do. And you can see the, see the stutter when it's coming down, going up. Are you seeing that on camera, Steve? Okay, good. So, what uh, gamers do? Because gamers want immediate input response. Okay. You know, a simple way to think about it is if I move the mouse, how soon or how long will it take for that cursor to appear you know, with the move? And that's sort of your response time. Correct. And with VSync on and stutter, you get a lot of lag. And gamers don't like lag because if they're not fast, they'll get shot or you know, be uncompetitive. And so what they do is they turn VSync off. Correct. That's what I'm going to do now. Just turn it off. And you see something? You start getting some tearing. You got a lot of tearing going on. And it's 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 not visually good. So this is a beautiful 4K monitor, but we've got this horrible tearing. The, the quality isn't isn't good. So what I'm going to do here is just introduce some uh, motion into our demo. Uh, so let's uh, scroll out a bit and get some action going. And you can see the tearing in the columns. And if someone who wasn't a gamer looked at this, they'd think it was broken, <laughs> right? There's something wrong. Uh, so what we'll do over here okay. is look at what G-Sync does. So let's start first by recreating what we had on the left side. Okay. So we've got the tearing going. So this is V-Sync off. And now I'm going to turn on G-Sync. And it's beautifully smooth. There's no tearing. We'll span out here a bit, spin this guy. And you'll notice there's no tearing in the columns. As you can see, everyone, when you looked at this one, the columns looked like they were separating, which is that which was which is called tearing. On this one, with the G-Sync on, you could plainly see that there's no tearing in the columns, they're a lot more visible, there's no change. So G-Sync does work. Absolutely. Now, we do have a question for you. Sure. For a monitor that doesn't have G-Sync, right. are you going to be creating a module that someone can actually put on their, their monitor in order to take advantage of this? Great question. We've had such enthusiasm about G-Sync that we've created a uh, do-it-yourself kit. Okay. Now, the kit isn't for everyone. It's for core gamers, enthusiasts, who absolutely have to have this technology today. And what the kit does is it, you need a, an ASUS VG248QE monitor, 24-inch, okay. 19 by 10 monitor, and the kit. And the kit, you open up the monitor, you do the mod, close okay. up the monitor, and you mod it to g -Sync. So that kit will be available by the end of this week on NVIDIA.com. Very good. Our idea on what the price point is going to be. 199. 199. All right, everyone. There you have it. You want G-Sync, you have an older monitor, you have one of the ASUS monitors, or maybe you might want to save a little bit of money because you can't afford the 4K yet, like we're looking at. Go ahead and buy the ASUS monitor. Take advantage of G-Sync module, and you'll be playing a lot smoother gaming in the future.